So this one, again, is going to talk about uh, FME server and getting data um, in and out. And it talks about a big area of, of um, one thing that you can automate very easily, and that's the QA, QC. And Stuart's, again, going to show some of that uh, this afternoon. So, so, so SYNCAD was responsible for building a, a geospatial data warehouse for the U.S. Army. Um, and the idea here is they're going to get data from a wide variety of sources. Well, when you get data from a wide variety of sources, you want to make sure that all the data adheres to your standards so that when you load it up into your geospatial data warehouse, it actually meets the standards and, and you're loading up really good data. So what they did here is they, um, that they got data in a, a variety of formats. I'll go next slide here. So they got it in um, Enterprise GeoDatabase, uh, Personal File, Personal GeoDatabase, File geodatabase, I'm sorry, they were, and, and the enterprise geodatabase is what they're reading their current um, um, data from to make sure it all matched up. Now, the, now the, they checked the data in three th ways. First was the metadata, so along with this data submission was the metadata. So, made, so the first thing they QA'd was the metadata, making sure, which of course was an XML. You've got to say XML. Okay, um, which was an XML, and so, and so they would ver you know, validate the metadata, making sure all the required fields was there. The second thing they did with the data is they used a schema reader. Now, the schema reader has been in FME for probably, let's say, three releases. It's not a well-known reader, but what it enables you to do is for any format in FME, you can actually get the schema information. So you get the attribute um, names and the attribute the types, and they would um, check to make sure that the attributes that were required were there and that the types were, were what they wanted um, to, to, to load into their... Uh, their master database. And then the third thing, of course, they would, they would do um, a number of checks on the data itself. Um, if, you know, if, if you had a field that was supposed to have only so many values, they would you know, validate the fields were the correct values and, um, and things like that. And then what they did is, again, um, just like the previous one with White Star, is they actually sent an email back to the data submitter that would give them a record of was the feature valid, was it invalid, if there were problems with the data, you know, what was the problem with the data, so then um, the people submitting the data could actually get a nice report and be really know where the problem was in their data. There's nothing worse than submitting something and going, you know, you just get uh, wrong, right? And then you're like, well, what's wrong with the data? It's much better to be told exactly where the problems were. And so this is um, just some of the custom, tra and it, uh, custom transformers they, they had here. And again, what they did, is the nice thing about setting up a server as opposed to having a work file on FMW, which you give to people, is you can update the QA process on the server, making it better and better as you go along, and now all the new submissions are, are doing it. By using custom transformers, they're able to modularize all the tests, so a different test would be in a different custom transformer. And then this is the nice spreadsheets they sent back, and as, as Dale mentioned, um, spreadsheets are really, you can be, think of them as the shape file for non-spatial data. There's just a ton of Excel um, files out there, and with FME you can read and write them um, um, very, very easily.